In nature, we know that environmental conditions, like weather, can have a big influence on population numbers, causing them to go up or down. In general, separate populations that are close to each other tend to experience similar fluctuations in environmental conditions, and their population numbers will experience similar increases or decreases. This is known as population synchrony, and the effect weakens the farther away populations are from each other. Two different populations of a species, A and B, are near each other and experience environmental changes in a similar way. More distant populations, for example A and C, will show less population synchrony due to environmental fluctuations, and populations A and D show even less synchrony. This relationship in ecology was formalized by P.A.P. P. Moran in the 1950s and recent developments have highlighted several insights. Other non-environmental factors also cause synchrony, including dispersal and species interactions. It's difficult to separate the effects of dispersal and species interactions from the effects of environmental fluctuations on population synchrony. The conditions assumed by Moran's model are rarely met in the wild, but a more generalized Moran effect is more realistic. Strong population synchrony is predicted to increase extinction risk. The degree of population synchrony can change over time. Clearly, species experiencing population synchrony because of environmental variation could be strongly impacted by climate change. Evidence is growing that climate change will change the mean, variability and spatial correlation of the weather and environment and changing climate is already impacting population and community dynamics of species around the world. The authors of this paper looked at how climate change will affect population synchrony, either directly through climate effects on population dynamics or indirectly through its effects on species dispersal and interactions. By relaxing the assumptions of the Moran effect, the authors believe a generalized Moran effect can be key to predicting the large-scale ecological outcomes of climate change, with implications for conservation, management and harvesting strategies. This requires further research in ecological theory as well as empirical studies to test the evolving theory.